Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, uh, there's a lot of comments about how 24H2 has some issues. After the video I posted yesterday with some of the things that I've seen, and of course, a lot of people are like wondering, well, you know, this is Microsoft, why is, is everything is always bad? This is testing phase. It's normal that it still has issues. That's why it's being tested. Release preview is meant for that. And that's why it's not released, because it will take, you know, be at least five months before we see this. So that means, you know, June, July, August, September, probably it's only October, and it could even be November. So five months is enough time to fix all the little things that they see. The telemetry is there. Once again, I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, they have less engineers, and Insider Ring is really not the place to test. On the contrary, it is the best place to test. Uh, what people don't understand is that, you know, you can test to a certain point at Microsoft. You don't have a billion different configurations at Microsoft. You've got a set limit of configuration. And what happens is the insider rings are the best place for that. And hopefully they are used well. And this is why they exist. And the problem is, most of the time, and, you know, we've seen it in the past, Every time there was an issue in Windows, it was in the feedback hub. Insiders had said they had issues, and they had pinpointed the issues. The telemetry also would point to the issues. And the thing is, it was the bad, I'd say the way that the insider uh, program uses all that data in the Windows team, that they don't see all of it. There are so many things that came out with bugs that the problem was Microsoft, was the Windows team, and was the Insider team, not focusing on what people are replying back that is wrong. Because every single problem in Windows 10 and Windows 11 that was mentioned was already in the feedback hub. Insiders have noted, and it shows that the program does work what doesn't work, and hopefully will work better, uh, is the gathering of that information and making sure that you fix what people are reporting. And that is the big problem. But so we have five months. I'm not worried about anything yet. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's in the nature of the insider rings to have issues and have problems in the install or have some error messages. You know, like today, I was showing yesterday the uh, error message that I got, which is the uh, program compatibility assistant. Yet, for some reason today, it's not showing. So I'm like, okay, it's this is interesting. Why is it not there every day? Uh, I mean, it doesn't change. For me, it doesn't change the usage of the, uh, of the, uh, the Windows 11. It seems to work fine. Uh, some people here in the comments have reported about stuttering in uh, their gamings, uh, stuff like that. So uh, that could also be in another uh, type of problem, which is uh, the stuttering can come from the fact that maybe there will be a requirement for updated graphics drivers for the games and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things going on. There's billions of configurations, and, um, you know, it's... Uh, being tested out and um, it's going to be interesting uh, to see when it comes out but um, you know it, once again I'll say it is the it's supposed to be a major update and it is up to a certain point but it's a much much bigger update for those that will be on arm and a much smaller one technically for us than Windows 11 which uh, are most of us that are running x64 which is you know Intel AMD uh, processors. So I'm not worried about, you know, the uh, launch. We're still testing in the insider rings, and that's the good thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.